Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today is going to be an awesome one. We're going to be taking a look at the hot new time trial tech at the Oceanside 70.3. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So to start with, we have Ali Brownlee. He was on the BMC time machine and is running SRAM Axis 1x. It looks to me like it's about a 54-2 front chain ring, which isn't actually available to the general public. He's running a Zip 808 front and a Zip disc rear, which is pretty common practice nowadays. Now, if we take a look at his front end, which is really good at the moment, it's nice and zoomed in, he's running the Watch Shop custom arm extensions and pads, which are super supportive, super high rise on the elbow, so it allows him to get into a really tucked up position and dialed in, even when he's going over bumps and there's wind, he's still going to be able to hold that pretty good, which he does over the whole race, and that's because of the support it offers. His um, forearms are completely supported, there's no gap in between there, so that's super aerodynamic, and if we look as well, he's got the bottle between his arms, which is closing that gap between his extensions and his head, which is super aero, and he's looking really slippery. The bike looks amazing. There are some pretty big descents on this race, I believe. So those disc brakes also will probably come in handy. Now, if we can see Ben Canute comes into picture, he's on the Trek Speed concept. Again, he's running disc brakes. It's a new version that came out pretty recently. He's also got a dis, I think it looks like the Zip disc rear, but with the Trek branding on it. One thing that I would say about the Trek Speed concept is it's got absolutely quality integration on the bike. So earlier on the week, Sam Long posted a video on Instagram about the integration on the Spec Trek Speed concept and how big and extensive it actually is in that bento box, which is built into the frame. I'll pop that on the screen now so you guys can see, but it's absolutely awesome because it means that athletes can pop their gels, nutrition within the bike, and there's no aerodynamic penalty. So in the past, athletes will have been taping it to the bike, putting it in their back pockets, but now they can have it within the bike. It's contained. There's no risk of it dropping off. And most importantly, it's out the wind. So it's super fast and aerodynamic. Now, there's lots of other athletes within this race that are on the Trek Speed concept, including Ben Canute, Holly Lawrence, Sky Monch, and Taylor Nib. Now, Sky Monch is running the classic purple colors, which is awesome to see. And she's got the Aero Coach high rise arm pads, which again, super cool thing to be running on the bike because they're super high rise. So they support the elbows and the outer side of the arm extensively, which means if there's wind or there's bumps in the road, she's gonna be able to stay locked into that position and not feel like she's getting pushed around. Now, onto the green monster, Lionel Sanders. He has opted for the old speed concept in this race, which is really bizarre to see. So he's gone for the time trial version as well, where there are no storage options, there's no integration, and it's pretty much as basic as possible. On this as well, there are rim brakes, no disc brakes. To me, it's a little bit of an odd one because I'm assuming the new bike is more dynamic and faster. However, what I had assumed is that we're going into the World Championships in St. George, which is a very hilly race. Now, what I think he's probably doing this for is to basically run a lighter bike. There's no disc brakes, there's no storage options, so it's basically stripped down to the bare minimum, which should be an advantage come St. George with the lower weight. We saw people in the 70.3 World Champs in Nice strip the bikes right down, even to Sebastian Keenley sanding the entirety of the paint off his bike. So athletes go to all sorts of extremes in these situations. So it just seems like Lionel's running the, uh, basically the lightest option he can do and giving it a test in St. George. Now on the um, time trial Canyon Speedmax in those nice blue colors, he's running the head disc rear. And I think it's the head jet nine front. It looks like he's not got as much support as usual with the extensions. It looks like he's gone for the drag to zero arm cups and extensions on this bike. He also that his helmet is resting just on that sort of crest behind his back and so there's no gap. And so it's like one piece that's sitting super flush to his body, which again is gonna allow that wind to pass super efficiently and he's super dialed up. Also, I couldn't not mention the absolute queen of triathlon, Daniela Reef. Rocking the felt IA, I'm not sure actually which model it is, but it's the brand new one that's just come out. If you look at the shape of it, it's really weird. It's got a bit of a curve in it, which I assume is for the aerodynamic. She's running the DT Swiss disc and the DT Swiss, I think it's 90 mil front wheel. So nice and deep. Now with these arm extensions, they are custom to her from Swiss side, which she's tested in the wind tunnel. She's shown this all on Instagram and it looks like she's got a really dialed in supported front end, which is allowing her to basically get really comfy, really tucked in and offer as much support as possible. So what this will do is allow her to get into a really nice aerodynamic position but also allow it to be more comfortable. Now, the more comfortable you can be on the bike, the better you're gonna be when you get off, which basically unlocks your ability to run better because if you're not as strained on the bike, you're gonna save energy for when you get onto that run, which again, is super important. And ultimately, if you're not fast on the run, you're not gonna win the race. Since we've just been talking about Daniela Reef, it would be rude not to mention Paula Findlay, another powerhouse on the bike. She is on the Specialized Shiv, a bike we've actually not seen a lot in this race. Now, she's opted for the Drag to Zero Elbow Cups, now she's not gone for a super high rise cup, which is surprising. 
um, considering that I thought she would kind of want to go for as much support as possible. Now, I'm assuming this is just a cup she prefers. Now, every rider's going to have their own personal preferences, so I guess that's just personal choice. She has also op opted for a shallower front wheel. Now, from what I can see, it looks like a Zip 404 or 606, so a 40 to 60 mil front wheel versus the 80 or 90 mil, which we've seen on a lot, a lot of other riders. Now, She's pretty light, I think, so that might be a reason why, you know, if there's gusts of wind and you're not particularly heavy, you're going to get blown around on that front, and that front end, front end is going to be very twitchy, especially if you're a lighter rider. One thing I also forgot to mention is the hydration integration within the Specialized ship. As you can see, there's that big sort of compartment on the back. Now, that has a hydration pack in it, which is going to allow her to basically fuel herself without having to carry loads of extra bottles and loads of extra fuel. So it's integrated within the frame, it's filling up that extra space, which would go to no use if you know she wasn't using it. So that's awesome, that's great, she's getting good nutrition in, it's hidden from the wind, built within the frame, a top option, and I like that within Specialized Shiv, I think it's a really good sort of asset to have. And on the Giant Trinity, we have Sam Appleton. Now, this is the same bike that I run, so I couldn't not mention it. He's opted for the Kdex disc rear wheel and the Kdex four spoke front wheel. Now the Kalec wheels test incredibly fast in the wind tunnel. They've got super wide rims similar to the Hunt wheels which is absolutely great because it optimizes aerodynamics which is quite a new thing and if we look at the bottle he's got on his down tube that actually adds to the aerodynamics of the Giant Trinity and it tests faster in the wind tunnel with it on versus with it off which is why a lot of people will opt to race with the Giant Trinity and that sort of aero bottle on the down tube.